I cautiously slipped from the boat and into the water. My heart was racing as I found myself directly in the reptile's escape route. This was unbelievably dangerous, and if it charged, an attack was likely inevitable. I took a deep breath, and with a steady hand, I slowly fed the pole in between the reeds. For many years, people have asked, if I could catch any animal, what would it be? And my answer was always the same. A spectacled caiman. Nobody move. I am lassoed together with a spectacled caiman. Our journey began in a small village along the Sierpe River. We were about to embark upon the adventure of a lifetime, and one that I personally had been dreaming about for many years. All right. Four guys, two crew, out into the darkness to find Cayman. This is gonna be epic. Led by a team of local experts, we headed out with the mission of finding and safely catching one of the most iconic crocodilians in the world. So right now we are just scanning the embankments for signs of caiman. What we're looking for are any slides where they came up during the day and were basking. Normally these creatures are pretty territorial, especially the males. So if we can find some slides, that means there's a good chance we'll find these animals at night. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Under the fading glow of daylight, we traveled several miles up river, leading into a remote area that our guide said would be ideal for locating caiman. I was excited. Hopefully we were going to have several chances at catching one of these reptilian predators. A common practice used by many crocodilian research teams is to catch these reptiles with pole snares. It's a method I have been taught in the past and am now getting the chance to test myself. Using a bamboo pole, rope, duct tape, and a simple wire snare, we carefully constructed the catching device. This is completely safe for the animal, and in no way will cause it any harm. Oh, we got a caiman. Perfect. All right, Coyote, so now we wait. Now we wait. We wait for the sun to go down. I am pretty excited. I've been to Costa Rica. This is now my fourth time here, and this is the first opportunity that we have had to actually go after caiman. This is my favorite crocodilian species, and even catching a small one tonight, I would be ecstatic about that, but hopefully we can find one that's close to six feet. Now at a maximum, they grow to about eight feet in length. Odds of finding one of those, eh, we'll see. I'm feeling pretty lucky. So we're gonna head down this main channel of the river, look for some offshoots, head up in there, and hopefully manage to catch one of these guys. Cayman are primarily nocturnal. So as the last glimmer of light faded into darkness, the stage was set. Our spotlights methodically drifted along the muddy riverbanks. We were in search of eye shine, which is the reflection of light in a crocodilian's eyes. And it wasn't long before we had a target in our sights. Well, there's an American crocodile right there. Not what we're looking for, but we've seen a bunch of crocs now. Oh, look at this, it's gonna head toward the water. There it goes. Just a little guy. Man, if we could just find a caiman of that size, that'd be perfect. To come across an American crocodile is certainly amazing. However, it was simply the wrong reptile. So we headed deeper into the night. Time and time again, we saw eye shine in the distance. Yet as soon as we drew near, like a phantom, the animal had disappeared. Then finally, one of our guides spotted eye shine deep in the reeds. This could be our chance. I held my breath as we slowly drifted in toward the shore. And sure enough, it was a caiman.
got nice. the back of its body. Marty, Hold on a second. It's really slippery. That is a Mommy's big really game. I got the back of its body. Nobody move. I'm going to jump it. Nobody move. You got a shot on it? Yep. Hold tight, hold tight. Ah, tangled up. Oh, I got the rope. I got the rope. I got the rope. I am tangled up with the king. You got a shot? Yep, I got a hold shot. On. One, two, three. Great. Got it. Yes! That is a huge game, man. Holy mackerel. Okay. I'm going to need your help, Mario. I need you to wrap. I need you to wrap its snout. Okay. okay. Wow. Working what a gorgeous game, right, I'm going to. Get his mouth closed. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yep. Close your eyes. Yep. Got him. Okay, there we go. Tape the snout. This is definitely a came in the needs. It's snout taped. This could take off a hand. Yes, there All we right. go. Whoa, this is about as big as we could have hoped for tonight. Okay, we're gonna put it up front. Careful, careful, careful. Careful. Don't get whacked. No. Hold oh, on, we're losing, right? we're losing it, we're losing it. Grab, grab. You alright? Yep. Everybody okay? Incredible amount of power tangled in this underbrush. I am lassoed together with a spectacled caiman right now. This is unbelievably exciting. Wow! There's nothing like getting covered in mud to catch a reptile like this. An absolute prized specimen. Look at that tail. This thing is a beast. Chuck, is it, is it, or is it not? Oh, watch your face. Wait, wait, wait. Watch your face. Oh! It's back to? Yeah, a little bit. You all right? He's still got a lot of fight in him. Okay, there you go. Just watch your face. There you go. There you go. Right here. Got him. Yes, there we go. Oh. Told you, a lot of fights still. Coming up. Yes, yes! Okay, the animal is up on the boat and under control. We need to bring it into the center of the boat so it doesn't throw us off yeah, of here. Let's everybody back up, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> oh, one shot at snaring this reptile. I was moving so slow and trying to be so quiet. Great job, guys, keeping the lights right on its eyeballs. Kept it stunned in place. This thing is beautiful. It almost knocked out my tooth but we have it up on the boat. It is very robust, wow. So much more powerful than an American crocodile of this size. Okay, let's bring in some water. We're gonna actually clean the caiman off so you guys can see it better. Go ahead, come on in with the water. There we go. I'll get you washed off here, buddy. Get you all cleaned up. Nice. Oh, yes. Now the name Spectacled Cayman comes from these two ridges right here in the center of the head. And if I point it straight at you, it almost looks as if it is wearing spectacles or glasses. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see the bridge right between the eyes. Oh, That's awesome. It's beautiful. Now, scientists oftentimes say this kind of looks like an allosaur. Both allosaurs and ceratosaurs have these ridge bones, these prehistoric creatures. And an animal like this has been on the planet since the time of the dinosaurs. Now we do have to keep tape on the jaws because a crocodilian of this size could take off a hand, but I love them because they almost have these fangled looking teeth. Can you see that? These front ones, and look, you even have one that's sticking up there two. right from the snout. Can you see two? Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's just a little bit smaller. Now as compared to a crocodile or an alligator, the eyelids are much more bony. Watch this, it does have a nictitating membrane. Check this out and close its eye, ready? One, two, three. There it goes, you see that? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's the nictitating membrane. Now they use that when they're underwater to help block any you know, residual debris from plants or anything that they attack from scraping their eyeball. Look at this, this is cool right there. You see that little spot? That's its ear flap. It has an ear right there. They have, believe it or not, pretty good hearing and excellent eyesight, especially at night. And let's look at this animal's back. The osteoderms are incredible. The spectacled caiman has more armor plating than an alligator or a crocodile. And right here specifically on the back of the neck, it is solid muscle and solid bone right there. Wow, I am in complete awe of this animal. And look at how robust it is, solid muscle. 
All right, I can't give him too much space because at any second it could explode back in power. And that's what crocodilians are famous for. They rest up, they build up their energy, and then they make a go for it. So we he's do, building up his energy right he now. He is. That's where, like, I can't get complacent at any second because if he explodes into action, he's going to launch right off the boat. Might take me with him. Uh, we are tethered to the boat. We do still have the noose wrapped around the lower half of his body, but we have to be extra careful. Now males tend to be bigger than the females and I would say this one is of about average size, but this is a little trick that I learned from Mike and Chris. Last year working with American Crocodiles, I'm going to sex the caiman. And what are you doing? I am feeling for the cloaca. There it is. Oh, that would be a boy, ladies and gentlemen, and one healthy boy at that. And you can see how robust this animal is, which tells me that the ecosystem is also incredibly healthy. That means there are big fish, there are big frogs, there are snakes. This is an opportunistic predator. Anything that it can get those massive jaws on is fair game. <sighs> man, you have some mud on your face. Do I? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is about the muddiest I've gotten since uh, the smoky jungle frog, I think. Yeah. This may be the muddiest you've ever been. It may, it may <laughs> be the muddiest. see this? Uh, I, I committed <laughs> everything I had to catching this reptile. If it had gotten away, I would have never forgiven myself. I know that you guys are all watching right now thinking to yourselves, wow, I cannot believe you pulled that off. And to be honest with you, I can't believe I did either. This is a full grown adult. Let me just try to give you a look at the full body there because I've been sitting on top of it. You see that? Oh. And the tail stretches all the way down the side of the boat. This is a beast. I could not have caught a more perfect caiman, in my opinion. Look at the hind limb here. Look at that. It's like holding the foot of a dinosaur. And in a sense, I really am. These reptiles have been on the planet for well over 100 million years. They are an evolutionary giant. Um, let's get some basic biometrics. We have already sexed the reptile. We do know that it is a male, but for my own purposes, I would love to know just exactly how long it is. If somebody wants to just grab my backpack there, I can uh, get the measuring tape out. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go from the tip of the snout, right, Mario? That's how you guys do it with the Crocs. Ooh, watch those teeth. I know, I know, I know. This is very down, risky. Right down the ridge line. Okay, good. All right, move okay, here. hold the tail, hold the yep. tail. Good. Okay, I got the back haunches under control. Mario, once you get the measurement, why don't you bring it back to the camera to show us. Okay. Okay, you got it? We are All right, go ahead and pull that out from between my leg. Right at 59 inches. Wow. So just about five feet. Just about five feet. Oh, this is incredible. This is, this is a beast. <laughs> we could have searched for days and not come across a five foot caiman, let alone one that was up on the embankment that we were actually able to snare and get up close for the cameras. I am absolutely beside myself right now, covered in mud, lucky to still have my tooth, but there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the spectacled caiman, the one reptile that I have been oh, just so eager to catch and get in front of the cameras for so many years now. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Oh, that was awesome, high fives guys. Muddy uh, high fives. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Woo! As we climbed from the boat and stepped onto the muddy bank, I could feel my time with this beautiful creature coming to an end. I carefully peeled the tape from its toothy snout and then quickly jumped back out of its strike zone. And now when people ask, what is the greatest animal you have ever caught? I smile and say, the spectacled caiman. If you thought catching a caiman was intense, make sure to go back and watch the episode where we pulled an enormous American crocodile from a drain pipe. Yeah, he's biting the stick. Okay, as long as it's a stick and not your hand. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.